how many guys are in the Q course with you? There's a ton. There's like a whole student company slash SWIC is a, a big machine. Uh, the training group, you know, is a part of uh, special forces. And um, really, how many? So how I mean, many they graduate? Selections? They graduate like a thousand Green Berets a year. No shit. Yeah, Th those numbers are probably like dated, but that's. I remember I was like, how many? Like, it, it, like you just said, like it's a lot every year, um, and and they're the one percent, you know, and it's um, of the military, and uh, and it, they're small, you know, it's a small piece of uh, of a large, you know, military system. Yeah. Um, so how many how many selections do they run a year? Do you know? There's like one a month. One a month. They make break twice a year or something where there's a gap but how I many selection classes go into a q course i don't know like I, I couldn't tell you how many q courses a year they're concurrent they're going on concurrently so like if you start in one you may finish in another okay so they're constantly like uh your cohort i think is how they do it and they've changed it so many different times now yeah like you have like a an, OD, an IODA is what they did when I was going through. and um, But that was a, they were kind of piloting it and seeing it. if you could like start with a, a, a team of people, an ODA, uh, and then finish with them. But it's through the branching off of like the different language programs and the length mm -hmm. of time. And then if you recycle something, um, there's just so many aspects to the Q, the Okay. Q course, like from small unit tactics to to the survival evasion uh, resistance stuff, and then language school. Depending on which language, like that changes the duration, and then your MOS is also like I was an 18 Echo uh, communication sergeant, and you know there's a weapon sergeant, there's an engineer sergeant, there's the medical, um, and those are all like some of them are close, but they have their own criteria. So that's why it's like there's these committees in each kind of phase and you kind of fall through under a committee. You go in through a committee and to, to, to successfully completing a portion of the course. And then if you have to recycle or like Kaylee was born, my 15 year old daughter, she was born during the Q course. So I recycle or not recycle, but I, came out for her birth and went into the student company. And then I just kind of got lost in the sauce there. Um, because then I'm just a number, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. And wait and waiting, you know, to get back into a, um, a pipeline basically. Um, cause there's a, there's a bunch of people either, you know, good, good dudes waiting to get in, uh, like life, you know, happened. like my, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be there if I can. So I was there for her birth. and, um, But then it's just like, I also realized then too, I was like, man, I'm just kind of a, just a number in this place. Like, <clears throat> yeah. And then I also, you know, going through the Q course, it was, it was great. It was awesome training, man. And really kind of honed in on some of the, like, like I really like take pride in being a Green Beret and, and, and I, I firmly believe that like the most like capable group of 12 people like in, in, in a well-oiled, you know, cohesive team ODA is like the most capable force multiplier and, and like, like combat little element that you can put in behind in any country and, and, and uh, make truly make it um, like a, a substantial impact, like for twelve people, it's amazing. Like yeah. if you have the right people, man, getting all the like all of them, I didn't see in a short amount of time, and yeah. uh, and that's when I pushed myself to go try out for something bigger or more. You know, Hold more, on, more, don't go there yet. Sorry, <laughs> let's go. So you get through the Q course. Where are you going after that? So I, uh, I knew that. Or I've been told that if you're a communications guy, sergeant, like 
they're going to make you do time in signal detachment, which is like battalion level. Like you get your time in there for a year and then they'll put you on the ODA. So I was like, how do I negate that? I went to dive school and I tried pre scuba and then uh, during the course. And then I went to dive school and route. But I had already, I went and because one of the dive, the pre scuba instructors was in the comp, like in seventh special forces group before. So he actually introduced me to the company sergeant major before I was even out of the Q course. Like I stood oh. in front of him. It was Brian Rary and I still stay in touch with him. Um, and he was, he's like, all right, if you, uh, if you make it through dive school, I'll bring you to this, this company. I'm gonna put you on the dive team. And I was like, Roger that moved out. And then I went to dive school and that was super easy. And, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I've no, never no. heard that before. No, no, it was, it was, uh, man. Yeah. I've never been afraid of a pool before in my life. <laughs> I thought I loved the water and, uh, like I also love to breathe, <laughs> which yeah. is a novel concept, right? It's like, Oh, I can't breathe under here. Oh, and you're taking my air source. Oh, like constantly. Cool. There comes the wizard. And you're like, oh, no, don't. Don't go to the light. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is a very interesting school, man, but like physically challenging. And, and, and you know, the cognitive like challenges of it are, there's, it's, it's, not a, it's not a game. Like the Navy, like dive tables and, and understanding all of that and, or learning it. And then, um, yeah, it, it's... Yeah, it was a, it was a kick in the fucking dick, period. And I would just go to the barracks like and look down at the pool in QS, and I'm like, oh, it's beautiful out there. Safubo, <laughs> Special Forces Underwater Operations. And I'd be like, there'd be like cruise liners coming in in the QS, like through the bay, and like you could see them over there. They're going to the other part of QS, and like, oh, I bet they're gonna have a great time. And I like look over at the pool deck and just like, the the craziness that ensues or that would happen and like jocking up, you know, drills and warming up. They got to warm you up before you get in the water. Yeah. And, uh, you're like, you're just like drowning people. You're just like, what? Like your mask is constantly charged. Right. So like, Oh, get used to that. And you'd be doing flyer kicks and like, and if, you know, some people, they either, they drain it, you know, through cracking the seal or they like by squinting or, or, um, where they just can't close off the nasal like pass and then they're just like hey sergeant i'm trying and because they, they keep coming charging it and then i remember this one time you can't see anything you just hear and you're just like one two three you know doing the fire, fire kicks i can do fire i can do like a million back then um but my uh dive buddy he he couldn't close off that you know they said kept charging it it was like third time and they're like okay looks like you just want all the water and they just like slow poured them with this five gallon from what I can tell is a five gallon, but just, it was just like, Oh my God, he's drowning. Like, like what seemed like for a long, long time. And I was like, bro, what it taught me though, was keep the water in your mask and just close your fucking eyes. Yeah. Like <laughs> just close your eyes. Like it's uncomfortable, man. But, but it, 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 it makes sense. And it like, they're teaching you, just like with anything, if you can't do something with your eyes closed, then you need to do it more, you know? And that's, whether it's gun handling or, or, or um, you know, like working through, uh, especially like life-saving bits of equipment, like you need to be able to work through those things and in, in different conditions. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.